Welcome to Interviews, hosted by Randy Goodman, Harvey Callis Real Estate, your real estate professional. Get to know our community, our businesses, products, and services that will elevate your life. Please welcome your hostess, Randy Goodman. Hi, everybody. It's Randy Goodman here from Harvey Callis Real Estate, and I am excited to be here with Zara Lavji, who is the owner and mobile optician of eyewear on the go don't say that three times fast <laughs> thanks sarah for being here with me today thank you randy for having me it's such a pleasure to always connect with you well thank you so i'm super excited to chat with you because you do something a little bit different so tell us a little bit about what you do so my uh, business is a little different. I am an optician. Um, however, I bring the optical shop to your home. So you don't need to go out to look for your glasses. It's a mobile optical company. And uh, I come to your home and I fit you with eyeglasses, sunglasses, um, the whole gamut. So we do um, safety glasses, uh, swimming goggles, uh, vocational lenses. Um, so a typical visit would be, um, I would come to your home and we would do an eye style consultation uncovering your needs and then from that we would pick frames and lenses to meet those needs wow and you can do that all mobile i do it all mobile wow wow okay so do you have to have like a special vehicle or how does it work i had to upgrade to an suv just so i could fit everything in comfortably and um i don't need to go to the gym because i'm lifting a lot all the time <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I've, uh, I managed to uh, pack everything in and, and got it as compact as I can. And I bring a very good selection. There's always something for everyone in um, a, a variety of styles and price ranges. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's awesome. And it's cool that you can like come to them. So uh, who would this be good for? Like who's the right client to use a mobile service? So really, it's anybody who wears glasses and um, is, is, you know, running low on time. Time is, this is one of the reasons I started. Time is something we don't have a lot of. And I wanted to give back, not just with fitting people with eyeglasses, but actually helping them. And the one thing I can help them with is save them time. So mm -hmm. I can bring that to them. When I initially started, I thought I would be seeing a lot of seniors. Um, and that's really not the case. It hasn't been the case. I do have my senior clients and I go into retirement homes, but it's been busy entrepreneurs, busy executives and busy families. So, yeah. you know, um, the soccer moms and stuff, I go in between dinner and soccer practice and the busy executives, I'll go into their offices and stuff like that. Wow. That's pretty cool. It's pretty neat that uh, you can, you know, have a service like that. So, and, and that you're able to provide that service. So, but is this something that you always did, Zara? Optician is something I've always done. I did it right out of, um, uh, actually, even in high school, I took a co-op in the optical field yeah. and then went on to do my training um, uh, at Georgian. But yeah, I've been an optician for over 25 years. Absolutely love what I do, love the field and uh, wanted to do something on my own, but something a little different. And I thought this was just, it just happened to be a, talking to colleagues and the, the conversation came up and I said, this is a good fit for me. And let me, let me try it out. And uh, it's worked. I absolutely love it. Um, you know, being in someone's home is so different than the client coming to the store. Uh, the, the atmosphere is uh, so much more relaxed, especially if you work at home, because I can suggest different products and uh, lenses and coatings that will help you um, make your life easier at home. And then we're in a more relaxed atmosphere. There's no selling pressure. It's just me and the clients. Um, I, you know, it's not about selling glasses. I'm building relationships with these, uh, with these clients. And most of them have become friends now. You know, I get invited to weddings and birthdays. And so it's been great. I've been you know, a whole network of uh, a family of um, clients now. Nice, nice. And uh, so were you always mobile? No. No, I haven't been mobile. Mobile, this is my sixth year going into the business. Um, I started off uh, in corporate. So I've worked um, a, a, the wide range from corporate to independent and then now doing this on my own. Wow, wow. And so what was the shift to saying, I want to be mobile? I think I wanted to do something for myself, really. Um, I, but not being in a store environment. I'd always been in the store and I wanted to come out of the store, um, just have a little more freedom for myself. And more importantly, um, wanted to help the client more than just with a pair of glasses. Right. Like I said, the time is time is one of those things people never have enough of. 
um, and not just time, but also really uncover their needs and sell them what they want. When you're in a store uh, working for someone, you have pressure, you've got sales pressures, you've got goals to meet. Um, we don't have any of that when I'm with the client. It's me and the client, and it's really genuine conversations about what they really need, and then helping them get that and meet those needs. Right. And I guess in a store environment, you also have the pressure of other people around, right? Where exactly. You've got to help this client because there's another client waiting. And when you go to their house, you don't have that, right? <laughs> you get to Absolutely. focus on them. <laughs> it's all about them. It's only about them. It's, I'm not multitasking with them, you know, doing pickups or um, serving other clients at the same right. time. It's only them, you know, it's very comfortable. A lot of times we're in the living room or um, in an office or on the dining table, you know, we'll have a coffee together. And it's, it's more of a conversation. It's more of a gathering as opposed to I'm here to sell you something. Yeah. Um, and we really get to talking about their personal life and what their needs really are, because there's so many things you don't even think about. Um, and, you know, though in conversation, they might say something and I'm like, hold on a minute. How do you know, how do you manage with the glasses? And then the whole conversation will start and I'll be able to um, suggest other products. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So you really get to spend time with these people and focus on them. So for you guys out there that are looking for like good customer service and being able to, you know, maybe you don't like going into the stores because of that issue and they've got their attention divided all over the place. If you want, uh, you know, attention just straight on to you, then this is a great option for you and, and Zara can come to your house. So even if you have like, I mean, when we're back to work, regular work, uh, you know, and you don't have time, whether Zara comes to your office or she can come to your home and do it there as well if you want more privacy from everybody. But I love that. That's a great idea. Uh, so you also like to give back. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So I do. Um, I've done a lot of seniors fairs um, and I go into, um, if they have fairs and things like that, I'll go in and I'll do adjustments and repairs complimentary. Nice. Um, so giving back like that, um, I've done a lot of charities where um, people who can't afford eyeglasses, mm -hmm. I'll help them out in any, any way I can. So that's one way I give back in the optical field. I also do talks on healthy eyes. Uh, most recently, I started doing videos, uh, which is totally out of my comfort zone, but I've been doing them in the last, since the pandemic, really, because the one thing that people were not talking about was the eyes. And it's on your face, you're always touching your glasses, um, and they're telling you not to touch your face. But if you're wearing glasses, uh, it's almost impossible not to touch your face. Right. So I started uh, doing videos on healthy um, eyewear tips during, uh, during, especially during the pandemic. That's awesome. Okay, that's great. That's great. And uh, do you have any tips or suggestions for people out there? It could have to do with anything, anything you want. Yeah, don't be afraid to wear glasses. Think of it as an accessory. Like that's my main thing. Um, I, I everyone has their comfort zone, and um, I'm known to push people a little bit out of their comfort zone. Uh, maybe perhaps not as crazy as some of the glasses I wear. People have seen. I'm, I've toned it down today, <laughs> <laughs> but people have seen me with my uh, a, little, a little more wilder glasses. But you know, um, come out of your comfort zone. Um, embrace color. You don't have to go too wild. Uh, if you're going with a, a bolder shape, then maybe you want to go with a muted color. So there's lots of different varieties. And every, there is a frame for every face. Those people say, I don't look good in glasses. There's a frame for every face. So be, be happy. Think of it as an accessory and embrace it. I love it. Think of it like jewelry for your face. <laughs> totally. And you can have one for every outfit, right? <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. And it's not even about matching your outfits. It's about meeting your needs. Um, so that's, that's the other thing, you know, if, uh, I, I always use the example of shoes. We have how many pairs of shoes, uh, you know, different shoes for different needs, different outfits, but we have one pair of glasses and people look at our face first. They don't look at our feet first. Right. <laughs> that's awesome. So how do people get a hold of you? Uh, it's very easy. Um, you can find me on my Facebook page at Eyewear on the Go or on my Instagram at eyewearonthego.ca. Uh, and um, I have all my videos posted on there. I recently did one which is uh, received was received very well. Um, it was yesterday about uh, wearing a mask and having your eyeglasses fog up. I know right. It's a, huge, it's a huge problem for everyone right now. And I didn't um, 
realize how big of a problem it was until I posted it yesterday. And so, yeah, if you guys are having that issue wearing glasses and having your glasses fogged up with the mask on, have a look. It's um, on my Instagram as well as on my um, Facebook page. The website is uh, down at the moment. I'm getting it redone. So it's uh, info at iwearonthego.ca. If you have any questions, you can always email me. Okay, perfect. And I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be hooking up with that video that you created because I it, it's one of the big things to laugh about even when you know you talk to people they're like the biggest problem I have with these masks and then they breathe and <laughs> so it's pretty funny and the issue is real so <laughs> that's for sure well thank you so much Zara for being on here and sharing I really appreciate it thank you for having me Randy pleasure Thank you for listening to this interview hosted by Randy Goodman. We hope you will take action and connect with the incredible business people and leaders in our community. And remember, Randy is always here to answer any questions you have regarding your real estate needs. Be sure to register on the website and stay up to date on what's happening in your area at parkbench.com slash millpond.